Hey, what's up, YouTube? We're back again with another truck. We just picked this up a couple of days ago. It's a 2006 Tacoma. A couple of people probably already seen it on YouTube. It's the LS Tacoma, LS Taco. So it's a two wheel drive pickup, extra cab. Give you guys a little walk around and then show you under the hood. It's not in perfect conditions, but it's a nice little beater. So let me show you the interior now. This is the driver's side. We haven't touched anything except for a towel that was under that seat that we took out. Power windows. Some paper in there. I don't know what it is. It has a little 10 inch subwoofer. It's empty back here. Uh, fog light switch, which doesn't work because the previous owner wired it to the switch right here. And it has a trans temp, the engine temp, and the oil PSI right there. And we're gonna start off, I think, by fixing all these like little loose wires and stuff. Is it like for the subwoofer probably rerouting? I'm not sure yet. Gotta clean it. He used to daily the truck, so it has about 200 something, 290 something miles. 290,000 miles on the chassis. Show you guys the passenger side. Also some papers. I believe the previous owner was the original owner, first owner of this truck. We noticed that this fell off the other day, so we have to get the little clips that go there. To stay in place. And then these are like the little things that we have to button up. You can see all these wires down here. Maybe zip tie them a little neater. And this is for the oil, PSI. more stuff back here love box there's nothing in there but I'll show you guys real quick so we have the oven cleaner because we're gonna clean the engine bay a little bit I'll show you guys that right now so this is why it's the LS taco truck it has a LM7 5.3 with the 4060 in it. And all this was done by the previous owner. The truck has about three years with the swap and he went daily. In it. So it is kind of dirty in here. One of the things that we have to address first is the radiator it has a pinhole on that side, so it leaks. And also these wires back here, which have to Put them back in the loom, make it look nice. And just clean up the engine bay a little bit. We found some leaks down there when we were checking out the truck before purchasing it. Uh, it's nothing major, but the power steering is leaking a little bit. That's, I don't know if we're gonna be able to show you guys. Somewhere up here, there's like a leak. And also this box isn't strapped down, so we have to figure that out. This power cable is not tight. So it's just like little things we have to go over. And also uh, the brakes. Something's up with the brakes. It, has, it feels a little spongy. And then on this side, it has a rattle. So there's like a, you guys can hear that? It's like a bracket. I don't know. It was a, recall from Toyota and then they didn't put this bracket back on 
So either we have to cut it or figure out where it goes. And then uh, there's also a clunk coming from this side. The guy said he did the brakes, and he then said it's the brakes, because after he did the brakes, he started making that clunk. You feel it on takeoff, and uh, also when you come to a stop, you'll feel it sometimes like it'll catch up to you. So I don't know if it's the drive shaft or the diff or just the brakes. We have to figure that out, but for the most part, the truck is it's good. I mean, it, we've been driving it for two days now. It's a pretty fast truck. The tires are Toyo's open country on some summit rims 285 70 17s we are thinking about uh replacing the muffler because this muffler is a bit too raspy for our taste uh but that'll be in a couple of weeks probably and also we have to uh chop this up a little bit and bend it, it has aftermarket uh coil over setup qa ones and custom bracket up here to mount the coilovers. The rear is just stock. So. Let me turn it on for you guys. It's not extremely loud. But you could definitely tell it's not the stock engine. <laughs> the RPM gauge on the cluster works. The speedometer works, the odometer works. The heat of the temperature doesn't work. So that's why we have that gauge right there. The fuel gauge does work. And what else? The shift knob. Third is drive, reverse is in its original place. Parking is in the original place. Uh, what else? The drive train is stock, except for the headers and the intake. The transmission was it's a built uh, 4L60. It's good enough for this truck. I mean, we don't need crazy power. Uh, there is plants. Uh, for a cam, a small cam, since it's a daily and little odds and ends. There's oh, I forgot to show you guys. There's a E85 uh, sensor hooked up already. It's just the wiring is not done, so we're gonna look into that. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully, this is something that you guys are interested in. Any questions, leave them in the comment section down below or send it to us on Instagram at yonke underscore OXC films. I'll leave that in the description down below. We'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and we'll catch you in the next one.